in this module we would look into another interesting thing in the last module we had a view on cryptocurrencies and our view was not very favorable there is another phenomenon which is called bonus points loyalty points or in case of airlines airlines offer air miles these air miles are offered by almost every airline in the world including pia air miles hote kya hai basically these are loyalty benefits which are offered by the airlines to their customers ie passenger and these air miles can be used to buy some flights which effectively can become for free or for a certain discounted price there is an emerging business in the world which is around buying and selling of airlines air miles or other loyalty points now when if we combine all the air miles for example in the world their value can be in big hundreds of billions of dollars so all the air uh, air miles or whatever name they are given their value is huge now in a lot of cases these air miles they go unspent i am a frequent flyer and i can tell you that i have lost a lot of air miles because i did not have an opportunity to fly with a particular airline for a certain time period although previously i was flying with that airline frequently so these air miles they have in a lot of cases they have an expiry date there are certain airlines they do not put an expiry date on air miles gulf air is one of them so whatever air miles you get from gulf air they do not expire in case of emirates airlines for example there is an expiry date now the question arises can someone sell these air miles for a price cash price first thing is that these air miles are what these air miles are benefits and these air miles they are benefits which would accrue to me the air owner of the air miles only when i exercise my right in future so in other words this is a benefit which is in the form of receivables this is in the form of a debt remember in our previous modules we discussed that islam or islamic law does not allow trading in debt if air miles are considered as a receivable a receivable benefit then there should be some sharia concerns on me selling this receivable benefit for cash jab maine ye module shuru kiya tha you might have been thinking that i am going to waste time this is not a non issue no from sharia view point this is a big issue and sharia scholars are looking into the tradeability or trading in air miles if you google and type trading in air miles you will actually come across quite a number of new companies set up whose primary business is trading in air miles trading in bonus points trading in loyalty points from a sharia view point there is no consensus on the trading in the assets or in the things like air miles because we are not quite sure 
what is their exact nature. In fact, many issuers of uh, these uh, things, these air miles, they are not quite sure about the legal status of uh, these things, I would like to say, air miles, loyalty points, and so on. So, until we have clarity on the status, legal status of uh, air miles, we would find it difficult to come up with a definite view from a Sharia viewpoint on air miles.